ask for it. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Luke 11, verse 13. Our Lord is rich in grace, mighty in power. He will abundantly bestow these gifts upon all who come to him in faith. We should pray as earnestly for the descent of the Holy Spirit as the disciples prayed on the day of Pentecost. If they needed it at that time, we need it more today. Moral darkness, like a funeral pall, covers the earth. All manner of false doctrines, heresies, and satanic deceptions are misleading the minds of men. Without the Spirit and the power of God, it will be in vain that we labor to present the truth. By the grace of Christ, the apostles were made what they were. It was sincere devotion and humble, earnest prayer that brought them into close communion with him. They sat together with him in heavenly places. They realized the greatness of their debt to him by earnest, persevering prayer. They obtained the endowment of the Holy Spirit. And then they went forth, weighted with the burden of saving souls. Shall we be less earnest than were the apostles? Since this is the means by which we are to receive power, why do we not hunger and thirst for the gift of the Spirit? Why do we not talk of it, pray for it, and preach concerning it? For the daily baptism of the Spirit, every worker should offer his petition to God. Companies of Christian workers should gather to ask for special help, for heavenly wisdom, that they may know how to plan and execute wisely. Day after day is passing into eternity, bringing us nearer to the close of probation. As never before, we must pray for the Holy Spirit to be more abundantly bestowed upon us, and we must look for its sanctifying influence to come upon the workers. Those who are under the influence of the Spirit of God will not be fanatical, but calm and steadfast, free from extravagance in thought, word, or deed. Amid the confusion of delusive doctrines, the Spirit of God will guide and shield those who have not resisted the evidences of truth, silencing every other voice but that which comes from Him who is truth.